So mindfulness by definition is a mental state achieved when you are aware, perfectly aware of the present moment. It's acknowledging, accepting the feelings that you're having at that moment, the thoughts that you're having at that moment, the way your body feels at that moment. It is not trying to change anything. So the types of mindfulness, and I took a wonderful course recently called um, Demystifying Mindfulness, and he laid out the types of mindful practitioners and three archetypes that I really liked because it, it helps, uh, it was a very good visual. So the first type of mindfulness that you're really gonna see is the scientist. So this is those who use mindfulness to help for intellectual reasons. Uh, therapy, they're trying to understand the mind, understand the body, why things do what they do. If someone is in pain, a therapist will help them go through a mindfulness practice to find the origin of that pain. It's using the left brain side, or the left side brain to give you objective results. You go in knowing you want results and you have a very regimented way of finding those results and looking at the before and the after. The second archetype is the monk. The monk uses mindfulness as a form of discipline to expand beyond the physical. They become so aware of their body and their emotions that they almost appear detached from the world. But in fact, they're not detached. They're just so aware of them that they don't sit in the same pockets of emotion that the rest of us do. We sit in those pockets of emotion because we don't realize that we're really having them and we don't realize where they come from. When you practice mindfulness, you reach a place where that sadness, as soon as that sadness gets triggered, you're able to say, oh, whoa, let me witness this emotion. Let me see if this has anything to do with what's going on right now. That monk is detached because they're so self-aware. The third archetype is the ninja. Now the ninja is my favorite, mostly because this is the one I identify with the most. Mindfulness as a physical and mental practice allows you to have a healthier body. Using mindfulness when you work out, for example, will help strengthen the muscles that you're focusing on. This is something that they've talked about in fitness magazines forever. If you focus on the biceps when you are doing bicep workouts, the intention, the attention, all filter in and help you to isolate that muscle to build it to be stronger. So when you focus on mindfulness from a sense of physical discipline, what your body feels like, what it can do, and then combine it with the mental, what are your thoughts? How do you strengthen your focus and the emotional? What are you feeling? That's what makes so many of us warriors. That's why I identified with mindfulness so much before I even realized what it was. Because as a warrior, I loved the idea of having that ability to be physically, mentally, and emotionally disciplined. But I want to lead you through a quick mindfulness practice right now. So find a, well, stare at where you are, whether you're sitting, whether you're lying down, whether you're in the car, eyes open or eyes closed is completely up to you. If you focus better with your eyes closed, that's perfectly fine. But what I'm gonna lead you through is a body scan. We are going to focus on our breath and then we're going to scan our body from the bottom of our feet all the way to the top of our heads. And that's it. So I want you to start by just tuning into the breath. You don't even need to take a deep breath. Pay attention to the way that the air moves through your body. Feel it as it enters and expands your lungs. Pay attention to what that air feels like. Is it warm? Is it cold? 
Don't try to change the breath. You don't need to breathe in any more deeply. As you breathe out, focus on the passage of that oxygen up through the body, through the throat and out of the mouth. Just focus on the feeling of that air coming in and out of the body. You don't need to do anything else. Now take your awareness from your breath down to the tips of your toes. I want you to focus on what your toes feel in this exact moment. Are they on a surface, carpet or wood? Can you feel a heartbeat in your toes? Just keep your focus there and slowly move it up to encompass the whole foot. Visualize both of your feet. What do they feel like? Now move that focus up from your feet to your ankles. Visualize both of your ankles. Is there any pain? Any twitches, anything that draws the attention? If not, just focus on them. If you feel any pain, just witness this. Don't try to change anything. Move your focus up to your calves, to the shins and the calves of your legs. Keep your focus on the muscles and the bone, on the skin that's pulled tight. Focus on what you feel. Now move your focus up to the knees. Feel where the bones meet. Feel the skin stretched over, the blood flowing through from the upper to the lower. Witness and acknowledge any pain, any feelings of warmth and tingling. Now shift your focus up further to the upper legs. Witness the blood and the muscles. These giant wonderful muscles that allow you to move. What do they feel like? Are they touching the surface of a chair? Feel the air move across them, the clothing that you're wearing. What does it feel like? Continue the scan up to your thighs and your hips and your butt. Feel your pelvis. Feel any twinges of pain. Feel the area almost heat up as you focus on it. And continue the scan up to your stomach and your lower back. What do you notice inside of these parts of your body, all of your organs? Continue the scan up to the chest and the upper back. Feel the bones of the spine and the rib cage. Feel the heartbeat.
Notice any pain or feelings of warmth, anything that catches your attention, just notice it, don't try to change it. Now move the scan down to your hands. Put your focus completely into both of your hands. Feel the blood that's moving through your fingertips. The feel of the air moving across the skin of your hand. Now move the scan up to the lower part of the arms, your forearms. Notice your elbows where the bones meet. Continue to scan to the upper arms. Witness and acknowledge any pain or twinging, anything that catches your attention, but do not try to change it. Move your focus to your shoulders. Feel any tension or stress and just acknowledge it. Continue to scan up to the neck. Witness that air going in and out of the neck. Continue your scan up to your jaw. Feel if you're holding any tension. Acknowledge it, but do not try to change it. Continue to scan up the back of the neck and through the head. Visualize your face bones of your face, your nose. Shift your focus to your eyes. Note any feelings, any strain. Continue that scan up to the forehead and up to your scalp. Shift your entire focus up to the point at the top of your head. Feel the follicles of your hair. Now return your focus back to the room that you're sitting in and open your eyes. That body scan can be as long or as short as you want it to be. It's like taking an inventory of what's happening inside of you so that you can shift as you need to. It allows you to understand your body. You can do the exact same thing with emotions, with what your thought process is, just by being aware. If you're in a, if you're feeling a deep emotion, witness it, pay attention to it. Don't try to change it. By becoming the observer, it's like detaching the emotion from an event so that you don't feel the emotion in the same way. An incredibly, incredibly powerful way of releasing emotions. 